morning. <laughs> So today I'm here at my parents' house and I decided to vlog. If you're wondering why our coffee machine is here, that's a long story. But we're gonna be trying out some beans today. My dad bought them. It's from Yardstick. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. These are the beans I bought recently. Very good. Medium roast. Highly recommend. They're on Shopee. It's pretty good. This, on the other hand, we're gonna see how good it is. I've tasted Yardstick before. Wait, have I? Oh, and it's pretty good. It's very similar to like single origin, but let's see if we can get that same flavor right here at home using their beans. My dad got these yesterday and I'm very shocked with how much they are. They're very expensive, so we're gonna try to savor them as much as possible. And again, let's hope it's worth the price because if you're gonna be paying for that much, Let's hope it's really good. Anyway, let's talk about the beans. The only thing that doesn't show up in this packaging is the roast. They titled it Golden Ticket, so that could mean a light or a medium roast. But again, it doesn't say here anywhere what kind of roast it is. I guess you're supposed to ask the barista when you buy them. Preferably, I would want to see what kind of roast it is on the packaging. So it's a Brazil Colombia blend. It should taste like a liquid chocolate bar. I'm starting to think this is a dark roast because it says liquid chocolate bar. At least there's a roast date roasted on June 9. It's currently June 30. The beans are kind of fresh. Okay, let's open this properly. We have our machine ready. I'm gonna do a double shot for myself first and then I'm gonna make one shot for my dad. Oh, okay. How are you supposed to seal it? I opened it wrong. You're supposed to peel this thing so that it could be a sealable bag. I have a lot. I have a lot of resealable ziplocs. I am so sorry. <laughs> there was no clear instruction on how to open it. Oh, that's so funny. I have ziplocs, don't worry. Okay, so I have a resealable bag right here. So we're gonna just transfer it later. But my dad's sad about the packaging because it does have a really nice bright packaging. But because of my <laughs> honest mistake, we have to transfer it. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're gonna put the beans in the grinder. So I'm assuming we need about like six scoops. This should be two shots and then I need some. That's probably enough. So we're gonna make the grind amount about here. Grind size is gonna be fine because this is not really new beans. Let's see. mimicking the beans that we already have so I feel like I have to add just a little bit more so we're just eyeballing it <laughs> dad you're so close I need to add just a little bit more because it's really flat now okay so I feel like I put enough beans beautiful okay in terms of smell it smells really good but it's not that strong when it comes to older beans you don't have to tamp that much usually when it's like fresh beans you have to tamp it like really hard since this is new beans fairly new beans roasted less than a month ago i hope i tamped it right so it looks really pretty oh my gosh did i put too much no i can do this there you go our mug and let's see if i did it right three two one Okay, I overdid it. But look at the crema. The crema is beautiful. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna roast that. Okay, so we did about 45 seconds. I kind of over extracted too much beans. But the crema looks really nice and it smells great. I'm gonna set that aside for later. I'm gonna switch the filter to a one shot so I can make one for my dad. Doing one shot and two shots are very different. Like the calibration is very different. So it's very tricky. When it comes to the one shot, you don't have to tamp really hard. It has to be coarser, it has to be less beans. I don't know why, but that's how it is. I've messed up a lot when it comes to one shot because I overestimate all the other stuff. Grind size is at five. Grind amount is like halfway. And we're gonna see if I did it right. Oh my goodness, where's my timer? That's good. Yeah! I messed up with my drink. That's okay. That's my drink, but I didn't mess up for my dad's. It's over here. I'm gonna steam the milk. Sorry for the mess. Just turned it. We're gonna steam now. Oh yeah, I can take this out. 
Too much foam. That's okay. I have a really hard time when it comes to like a little bit of milk. We're gonna just keep spinning this. Hopefully the foam goes away. I won't be able to do latte art anyway. Wow. Wow. Pour it in. And that is a flat white. Hey, not bad. Okay, you're the one who bought these beans, so it should be good. Mmm. Good morning. Good morning. Mmm. Good morning. <laughs> so does it taste like cartel or yardstick? Little more adjustment. Who <laughs> oh, is adjustment? Like yeah, I can't do anything. No, 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 wait, wait. We need a little adjustment. We need more beans. That's a one shot. Yeah. So you mean more coffee? More coffee. I mean. <laughs> See, it's better to have two shots. But does it taste like yardstick? Yeah. It's not a CDX, No. <laughs> does it taste like what it says on the packaging? Does it taste like a liquid chocolate bar? Or does it taste like fruity? Does it taste Oh, it's just it's this coffee from Fresh Mountain. It's a <laughs> yeah, no, wait, wait, wait. the mountains of. Ano yung ano yung coat na yung babane yan? Ah, uh, now this is ano yan? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. A question. Okay, what does it taste like? It tastes like fresh coffee from the mountains of Colombia. <laughs> Mm, you that's said, coffee. And God. Well, obviously we don't have the same milk as Yardstick or he just needs to try double shot with the same amount of milk I used. So I'm going to taste test now. I just need to change my camera battery and get some ice and some milk. Okay, so we're gonna give this a little taste test. I didn't add any sugar, you know me. If it's fresh beans, you don't really need to add any sugar. I do put milk because I love having a really good iced latte on a sunny day like this. Let's give it a taste. I'm getting a very tangy, fruity flavor. I'm getting those notes, which is not bad because I think I've learned to like that flavor. Is it worth it? Maybe every once in a while, the price of one whole bag of coffee beans from there is really high. I mean, for me, maybe for other people, it's not that expensive. Personally, for me, it is. Like, I have a certain budget for coffee beans per month, and I've found really good quality beans online from different suppliers. I guess in terms of like getting beans from cafes and your like favorite cafes, it is much more expensive, but yes, the origins of the beans will be from different places. It's not the local. So if you're someone who wants those kinds of flavors, I feel like I haven't really tasted this flavor from a local supplier. So if you really are looking for that flavor, you might have to spend more in buying beans from like Colombia, Ethiopia, all that stuff. If you want to treat yourself with a whole bag of really, really good beans and if you can brew them properly a brewing method that can help the beans reach its full potential trying these types of beans could be a good idea again if it's within your budget but bottom line i think we were able to extract the same flavor as the cafe is that even the right sentence is that all i have to say again if you want to try out the beans go do that or just go visit the cafe that's all for this week if you're new here and you enjoyed or you're curious about the content i made you can check out my other videos you can subscribe if you want to if you don't want to you don't have to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye